Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS. And we're on episode something crazy like 128 or something like that, 129 maybe. And we today we're going to finish the past. I have just done some trickery to move the houses. And I know some people frown upon it, but these we're going to move these out anyway. So we can't think of it as a way to just fast track the houses being moved. Just so we can finish the um, paths off here. So we've just moved Epona and Wolf Link's houses. Um, so Wolf Link now lives here. In, in a row of here. Which is actually quite cool. But we'll move Wolf Link out anyway. So it won't matter in like a few days time. And Epona just lives at the top of the map. Um, we'll go ahead and... Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. We have some bad luck. It looks like we're falling over. Um, yep. Epona just lives up here. Oh. Maybe it was a random fall over. It doesn't seem to be falling over too much. And um, Wolf Link lives up here, which houses have moved into before anyway. So, but yeah, we're going to move them out eventually anyway. Because we want to get loads of new villagers in. Oh no, we're going to have a day of falling over. Um, but yeah, so we might as well check to see if anyone's at the plaza. Uh, oh wow, look at the size of my tree. That's definitely bigger than last time, isn't it? It's getting bigger, and we haven't got a visitor at the plaza. Interesting. All the campsite. Where are the visitors? Um, so we're going to go ahead and... Whoops. We're going to go ahead and basically finish off the path up here and start planting some of the... Oh, that looks like a cool dragonfly. We need to make some money as well, but we're going to um, finish off the paths plant some of the fruit that we've been saving because we kind of demolished it. In case you missed the last episode, we kind of demolished our fruit orchard uh, in hopes of designing kind of a cool kind of pathway with lots of mini fruit orchards. So we're going to have kind of one set of fruit trees here, one set of fruit trees here, and so on. Um, and I guess now that we've got a row of houses... Oh, I keep falling over! <laughs> um, we could also do some paths here now we've freed up this space. But also, we're, we've got all this area here, so as soon as some villagers eventually ping us some public work projects, we can finally get some new ones here. I don't know why they're not, we always speak to them, we get, we do get pings, but they tend to be about, like, catchphrases and things like that, so we better do some weeding. Okay, so we'll probably, where are the villagers actually? Um, we might as well do the boring stuff real quick at the start and get these um, paths laid real quick. Um, just to finish them off. Then we won't have to worry about them. So we'll go ahead and do this. And it goes top right first. And left. Right, left. There we go. So that's just going to bridge that gap there. We need a random tile here. Uh, this is a bit tedious just laying patterns. But once it's down, it looks so cool. I'm so happy that we changed the path as well. Because it just kind of feels cool. And also, it's going to be autumn soon in like two weeks time. So we can change the path. There's an autumn version of this exact path. So that will be really cool. Because um, this is the summer and spring version. So it's quite bright, I guess. Okay, so this is where, as you can see, this is where Wolf Link's house was, right in the way. We built around it as much as we could. Um, but now it just gives us the opportunity just to fill in this area here. And it's something I've not ever really done, is focus on laying paths. So it's quite exciting for me um, to kind of create little areas like this. <laughs> That's going to get quite annoying. Um, we missed the fireworks festival again yesterday, but there's one more um, at the end of the month. So we should be able to attend that. I'm just double checking because there is... I can't remember if we got the lovely phone. Oh, it was the love tester. I think it's the lovely phone you can get from the fireworks and it helps us with bad luck. Which is a shame we didn't get that because we've clearly got bad luck. Um, so we've just left these paths open here so we could continue them down eventually... Maybe run them along the back of the houses up to this path might be a good idea. Um, but yeah, so we could probably go ahead now and just plant some trees. Let's just get rid of this. We've got too many flowers. There we go. Okay, so now to decide uh, which fruit we want to grow. So we should be able to get four in each little plot. I'm hoping they grow this close to the fountain, otherwise we may have to move the fountain. 
But I wanted to avoid that, um, if possible. Wait a minute, this isn't a real rock. I'll take that. Definitely need to sell that to get some money. Um, so we've just divided it up so we can put some trees here. Not not the best design in the world, but it's kind of the best I can come up with. Um, I think it's kind of cool to do um, these little kind of through paths here. Since we did it down at the other side near Jay's house, um, or kind of near the, um, the town hall, and we made like a little flower bed, it's actually really grown on me just to make like lots of little areas. So that's the idea behind this. And it also keeps the fruit separate. And hopefully, um, the areas are small enough that in future a house won't just um, plonk itself here. Hopefully. So, no! <laughs> okay, note to self, we don't want to run. Okay, so these are the fruits we're working with. We've also got peaches, but we don't really need to plant peaches. Um, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's going to have to be the tropical fruit. It's a shame we haven't got, like... Um, apples and cherries yet but maybe we could see if we can get this hey <laughs> chopped it with the um, net so I'm thinking we could go with lemons at the front actually and um, maybe kind of just yeah keep this quite tropical so we're only gonna need four of each so we can literally sell the remaining ones Oh no! <laughs> I didn't mean to eat one, but that's okay. We've got absolutely loads. So, oh, we can bury one straight from the um, straight from the basket. I didn't know you could do that. There we go. So we're just gonna plant the lemons here. Uh, maybe if we get some more design slots, we could put like a sign here that says like lemon trees, even though we'd know what they were. That's actually that's a silly, silly uh. A silly idea because we know what they are. Once they've grown, we will know what they are. Um, although it could be good if we shake them. But we're just floating ideas around at the moment. We are coming kind of to the end of where we're going to be laying the path. We've only really, after this, we've only really got one more area that we need to fill up with paths. And that's kind of in between the lots of houses. So it's kind of bringing the path through here and then this big open area here. I'm hoping to fill with um, public works projects when we eventually unlock some more. Uh, I caught a Raja Brook Butterfly. It's worth about as much as royalty. Okay, so we'll go ahead and plant some more trees and then that will be this area done. So we've got lemons. So I'm thinking we're just going to keep and maybe end on mangoes. Um, what ones do we want? Uh, maybe, maybe lychee. So if we could go, I think we'll go lychee first, and then mangoes. Uh, yeah. Oh, we have to have our spade in our hands, of course. There we go. I wish we could walk with our menu open. But we, it, it highlights the uh, cursor, so we can't actually walk around. So we're just going to go ahead and plant these super quickly. And then plant the four more trees there. And it's quite early, so we pop maybe we need to check Gracie's sale as well. Because um, we seem to be missing out on Gracie's furniture now. So that time, it's kind of the last week, I think, or the last two weeks. Um, Gracie's furniture starts selling out really quickly. Although I have no idea who's buying it. Uh, okay, we're going to go with some mangoes now. Just fill this area up here. Um, we've still got 200,000 bells because we missed Joan yesterday. So we haven't bought any turnips this week, but we did have some luck last week. So I can't imagine there would be a good price this week, but you never know. Okay, so we probably need to go ahead and sell some things. We've got quite a lot of stuff going on here. There we go. So that's pretty much the fruit grown here. We can fill this area. Once they're grown, put some flowers in here or something. Um, I mean, we could even plant some fruit this side. But let's see what it looks like when these have grown up um, first. And then 
We need to find a place for these fruits, but they could probably go over this side of the town. Oh no! I forgot we had bad luck. Okay, we probably need to go ahead and sell some things because we've got quite a lot going on in our pocket. So let's go and see what... Um... Oh, our cat machine's going off. There we go. Oh, one. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Hey, Jeremiah! Oh, we've got a ping! Genji, whoa! Check you out with your Raja B butterfly! I'm so jealous! You've got an eye for red treasures. What, you think I'm buttering you up? Well, I really want uh, what you've got, so give me a break. Okay, Mori, uh, smart Alec, pretty please. Let me trade you for my sewing machine, okay. Just because we like you, Genji. Uh, all right, I knew I could count on good old Mori. I'm not sure that's the best deal in the world, but... We're going to sell it anyway, so we'll take it. Oh, yeah, seriously, thanks. It's always good to get a ping, but why can't they suggest public works projects? What's going on? I feel like the game has somehow locked them out. Hey, Jay. Hey, long time no see. I don't know where you've been, but I have been... Uh, but if you have any souvenirs for me, mail them. Why, do our why are our villagers obsessed with saying that we haven't seen them in so long? It's just not true. Another fossil. We've got some fossils up by the train station still, I think, so that's okay. Right, let's sell all these things. Oh no, pockets are full. Um There we go. Oh, what can we sell more of today? A perfect peach! Okay, we need to go and do some perfect peaches. Farm some perfect peaches. Wolfling, hey, Maury, I'm looking, uh, oh, looking good, as always. Hey, listen, so, something up? Hey, listen, I want to chat. Hey, what's that you have there? A sewing machine. I've been looking everywhere for just such an item. Do you think I could have yours? Not for free, I'd give you the ranch dresser. Okay, let's trade. Wow, the villagers are all about trading today. We can't complain because it's a good way to fill up our catalog, um, which we kind of need to start focusing on. We've, uh, you know, once we got our town up and running, we then started focusing on the design. And that kind of leaves designing the house, which means we need to focus on the catalog. I'm just wondering if we should go ahead and pick some perfect peaches before we go in. Let's just drop everything down here. That we're going to sell. Um, we'll have to keep a hold of the butterfly. Okay, let's go up to see if we can harvest... No! <laughs> harvest some perfect peaches. I think the key is to kind of run in short bursts. So just keep tapping B to do like little, little bursts of running. And then we should be able to avoid falling over. But I always forget. Okay, we haven't got many perfect peaches that... Oh, there's a fossil there. Because most of them will fall onto... Yeah, most of them will fall in the bushes. Oh, wow, we only got one from that. Okay. We should have moved the flower. Um... these up. That's the trouble with having flowers everywhere. It kind of uh, makes it a bit of a mission to pick your fruit trees when you need them. Okay, we'll just grab these ones as well. I guess this is going to be a, a slightly slower episode, which we've had a couple of recently, but sometimes, like I always say, I think we just need to do it. Because uh, some things are a little bit of a grind. Oops. There we go. And these... <laughs> I don't think there's any chance of finding these. They might fall behind them. Oh. Okay, we managed to get 
two, I think. <gasps> Another ping! Inkwell, finally I found him! Dr. M. Rainy! I've patrolled all over this town, but I haven't seen much of your place. I think I should patrol near you and check it out, you know? You want to uh, feel safe and secure. Gotta keep the peace in Moriland, what do you think? Patrol on over. Yes, going to a friend's house is one of my favourite things ever. For one thing, it means I have a friend. <laughs> Let's get a move on. Oh, we're going now. Okay. Come check this out. It's a it's, uh, work in progress. So, no hating. <laughs> and we need to check our mail as well. Okay, this is it. This is exactly the same, I think, as you've seen it before in Quell. My mind is racing, and I'm thinking of all the reps and sets we could do here. The only difference is this jacket we got off Gracie, we kind of just put there. But yeah, we've got a chess, chessboard kind of developing in the basement. We've got some princess stuff in there, I think. I can't remember. Um, yeah, so this is it. I don't think you really want to waste your time seeing other rooms. Uh, my feet are so muscular that no dirt sticks to them. Your floors are safe. Safe from all your feet? Okay, where are you going? Do you know what? Uh, let's pay a debt while we're in here. Excuse me, Inkwell, you're, you're kind of in the way. Welcome, please select from the following options. We may as well repay some of our loan, because uh, we, we're carrying around all this money, so we may as well. Let's just do 200,000. Uh, that means this week we can try and accumulate some more money to get for... Um, for some more turnips at the end of the week, but it just means we can kind of half our debt almost. Uh, your current balance is 298,000 bells. Thank you and have a nice day. There we go. I feel good about that. Where did Inkwell go? Oh, he's just chilling in the doorway. Yeah, we don't normally make a habit of paying off our debt soon, but I feel like we can just to... We need to make the basement even bigger, so... Okay, I think that's all you can do in here, Inkwell. Well, we haven't got any music in here, actually, I've just realised. We need to get a CD player or something. I'm sleepy and hungry, too. Mum, where's my food? What? Wait a minute! I thought I was back at my parents' house for a minute. No, no, just mine. Okay, I think it's time to go. Huh? You're taking off? Yeah, I should probably head home then. See ya, Dr. M. Let's do this again sometime. Rainy! Okay, do we just leave Inkwell in the house? Okay, um, these are all our fireworks stuff, so we don't need to worry about those. Uh, what were we doing? I totally forgot. We were selling things, weren't we? We picked all the perfect peaches we could pick, I believe. So we need to go ahead and... Did we get rid of... Yeah, we did. Okay, we should have enough space to pick everything up, hopefully. In fact, let's just open up another slot there. I'm just gonna sell everything. I don't know, uh, I can't remember, is it 50% more or something you get when you do the item of the day thing? It doesn't tell you, does it? it just says, uh... Yeah, it just says extra bells, so I don't know if it's not double, I don't think. Oh, hello there, welcome! Hello! Oh, finally, we've got some new things in here! Uh, a, a minimalist sofa, that's cool. We've got some minimalist stuff. And what's that? Is that a lamp? Oh, it's a shower. <laughs> and no one wants this table. Yes, can I help you? I want to sell. Uh, you want to sell something, do you? What did you bring in? Um, a bunch of fruit. There we go. And 14 perfect peaches. Is this everything then? I'll start crunching the numbers right away. Since I'm paying premium for at least one of those items today, the total is 23,805 bells. Sound okay? Deal. We just doubled our wallet. Uh, thank you. Come back with more anytime you like. Oh, we would, but we haven't got any more growing. I don't think I ever expected to see perfect peaches as the premium item. Uh, if I'd have known that, we could have planted all the peaches. Okay, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to do in here. I dare look. Should we look at the turnip prices just out of curiosity? Uh, currently, I'm buying each turnip for 96 bells. Okay, it's about average. Thank you. 
Okay, so back to some gardening, I guess. Feels good to pay off a little bit of our debt. Actually, we need to go and pick up that fossil that we saw up here. Oh, we could have sold a mushroom. We'll grab that later. Uh, where was it? It was through here somewhere, wasn't it? Oh, there it is. Right in front of me. <laughs> Thank you. Fossils are only good for kind of making making money. Oh, there's another one. Hide it behind the tree. Unless we want to complete kind of the mini set that Cyrus will craft for you, they're really only good for kind of making money, but we're happy to do that. I think we're gonna wait until we've got a bunch though. There's no point in keep going to the museum. Although we do want to tour the aquarium at some point this week as well, I think. Any more fossils? Oh no! Still got these items here ready for when someone joins the plaza. Oh, what's going on here? Um, looks like we just need to fix this. There we go. Just, oh, these are all going to be bamboos. We've got a dead one there. We should probably just dig that up. We're trying to keep a good island rating. Um, uh, oh, we've got more tiles missing. There we go. Okay, so that's this area all sorted. The path's looking good. We need to decide what we're going to do here. Uh, we can pr finally plant some bushes next to Cube's house, so we might as well... Actually, where are we going to bring the path through? Yeah, the actually the path is going to not going to go here anyway, so we can go ahead and plant some bushes. There. I think we've got a hardwood tree, but I don't know. We don't really want to just plant it along here. Maybe we... I keep falling over. Maybe we could plant it at the back of Jay's house somewhere because we know for sure we're not going to put any more paths there. Hey, Jay. Yeah, I think somewhere here would be good. No, I can't aim. <laughs> It's one of those days. There we go. Oh, we're doing more tasks. Must be must have needed to plant a tree. Oh, we're plus three. Uh, when we start inviting more villagers to the campsite, we can finally use our meow coupons and buy some cool furniture, I think. Must be another fossil around here somewhere. I think there's at least one more buried. No. We still need to unlock Katrina in the um in the main street as well. Uh, let's go ahead and buy our usual bushes. Okay, we've got lots of villagers visiting. Uh, welcome, welcome, come on in. I think because we're actually a couple of hours into the day, I think uh, Gracie will already be sold out. But I think next time we'll start at like 9 o'clock or whenever TNT Emporium opens. And then we'll go ahead and see if we can grab some Gracie furniture. Once we've got some bells. Thank you. We don't need any flowers yet, but we will buy the fertilizer. And we're going to buy the bamboo shield. I want to see if Dr. Shrunk can... What? 3,000 bells! I want to see if Dr. Shrunk will eat a bamboo shoot. 
Just curious. I can't remember if we tried it or not uh, yet or not. Thank you for visiting. So it's really awesome that our paths are now taking shape. Once the fruit trees start to grow, we can do even more paths and we'll know where we are a bit. Oh no, it's not. Um, it's too early, isn't it? He doesn't go there till after lunch. We'll have to try that tomorrow. Okay, another hardwood tree. We've got some more bushes. Could we plant some bushes up near our house? Because we haven't really done anything around the actual grounds of our house. Apart from uh, <laughs> putting roses everywhere. I, re I really wish we could put a bush, like, here. It'd be so cute. Um, okay, I'm guessing maybe we could plant some... Move Inkwell out of the way. I'm thinking we could plant it... Let's see, if a tree, if we want to keep it symmetrical, tree, tree, and tree, 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 yep, it's going to be the tree there, isn't it? So let's start by putting another bush here. There we go, we love a bit of symmetry, and then we'll put the other bush here. our fertilizer there. I still don't really understand what fertilizer does. We've buried a bunch now um, and they don't seem to do anything. I think maybe once we got a, a hybrid that maybe it just increases the chances rather than like guarantees a hybrid. Okay this area is looking very bare isn't it? Uh, we could bring the path through here actually. Oh it's a shame it's not in line with this bit here. We're going to want to bring our path here. There we go. We could probably get away with putting a... Actually, let's just double check. What we do on the other side? Oh, we've got a tree there. Okay, that should be fine. And then that... Eventually, we'll be able to bring the path through here. Up, up, and up through the houses, and then eventually join up with here. That should leave lots of little areas to plant more flowers and fruit trees and things like that. Well, that's coming along quite well. Um, we also need to make a start on here, but I really don't want to lay paths until we've got some public work projects. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we should have one of those episodes where we just do like deep sea diving and, re and we try and reset the ping or something, I don't know. Have we spoken to all these? Oh, what are you thinking about? Yo, we meet again. Hey, listen, what can I help you with? What were you thinking about? So, Maury, a little while ago, I spotted a walking cicada. Uh, I'd like to get a closer look, but that's it. You've got the time, right? Uh, catch a walking cicada and bring it to me, will you? Okay. Look at Jay. It's just like, yeah, you go. Sweet, I can't wait. Okay. Let's see. The, what's the betting we're not going to be able to find one now? hear a frog. Aha. Oh, I don't know if that is one. That might be just a normal cicada. Yeah, brown cicada. Oh, the walker ones are the rare ones, I guess. That. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. No, I thought my game froze then, but it was because we're not used to uh, hitting the net from the side. Oh no, that might have been one. Oh, there's another perfect peach tree. Okay, let's try this one. 
It's definitely different. Oh, a giant cicada. Luckily, I didn't need a beanstalk. So we've got all the cicadas. What's that? What is that? We can't guess it because of the bush. Oh, we got it! Uh, we found a cicada shell. It's just a shell of its former self. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Oh, so it's not even a bug. It's just the, the skin. Cool. That's why it wasn't um, <laughs> being scared away, I guess. Oh, of course, we've got that frog in the pond. I caught a giant cicada. When's the next bug off, actually? Oops. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to find one. Got a brown one. Okay, brown cicada. We'll try one more. They must be quite rare. Oh, what have we got them here? And, oh, here we go. The bug off for this month has uh, been uh, ended successfully. No! Uh, the next event will be held on. Oh, of course, it's not in every day in August, is it? It's, uh, they have them quarterly. Oh, we missed the bug off. Uh, I caught a longhorn beetle. I had to steer it towards my nets. I think at the same time we scared off a cicada. Well, I don't think we're going to find one. In fact, a walker cicada is even spawning on trees? I don't know. Where is it? That's got to be one. It's a different noise, isn't it? No. <laughs> oh, well, we tried. Maybe next time. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. We've done a little bit of designing, sort of exterior designing with our paths and our fruit trees. And we've got bad luck, which we've managed to kind of not have too much bad luck. Just a bit of falling over. But hopefully these should all start growing. They're not too close to each other. It's just I'm wondering whether these ones will grow because of the fountain. But hopefully they will. If not, we might have to uh, delete the fountain um, from Isabel and then put it again one tile up and then just adjust this path and replant them but they should be okay I think at least most of them will uh, will grow and then of course eventually when we finally get some more public works projects we'll start in the other areas and we can start filling out all these empty spaces because it's looking quite bare but I think it's coming along well so let me know what you think uh, let me know any feedback you have any thoughts you have anything you'd like to see any villages you want to see I uh, really want you to enjoy this as much as possible so your input is really important thank you always for watching of course and thank you to the channel members and I'll see you in the next one bye